During the 9th and 10th centuries, Irish monks embarked on journeys across Europe, establishing monasteries that would become vital centers of learning and culture. These wandering scholars, as they were often called, brought with them a rich tradition of Christian devotion, intellectual inquiry, and classical learning that would have a profound influence on the development of European intellectual life during the medieval period. Among the most notable of these Irish monks was Marianus Scotus, who founded a monastery in Regensburg, Germany, in 1076. This monastery, known as Schottenkloster, or Scots Monastery, was instrumental in preserving ancient texts and spreading Irish scholarly traditions throughout the continent. The Irish monastic tradition, characterized by its emphasis on both spiritual devotion and scholarly pursuit, found fertile ground in the monasteries that these monks established. The contributions of these Irish monks were not limited to religious and theological matters, but extended to the preservation of ancient classical works, the development of written culture, and the shaping of intellectual life in medieval Europe. This short film on Emerald Chronicle will explore the history of Irish monasticism in Europe, with a particular focus on Mariana Scotus and the Schottenkloster, and will examine the broader cultural and intellectual contributions of Irish monks during this period. The roots of Irish monasticism lie in the early Christianization of Ireland in the 5th century, a process traditionally associated with the missionary work of St. Patrick. By the 6th century, Ireland had developed a distinct form of monastic Christianity, characterized by its decentralized structure and the importance of monastic communities as centers of both religious life and learning. Irish monks embraced a rigorous asceticism and a devotion to the study of sacred texts, but they also developed a deep interest in classical learning, preserving and copying works from antiquity that would have otherwise been lost. By the 7th century, Irish monasteries had become renowned across Europe as centers of learning and piety, and Irish monks began to travel beyond their homeland to spread their faith and knowledge. These peregrini, or wanderers, saw their journeys as acts of spiritual exile, undertaken for the sake of Christ. Their travels took them to the farthest reaches of the continent, from the British Isles to the Frankish and Germanic kingdoms, and as far as Italy and Switzerland. The Irish monastic tradition played a key role in the Christianization of large parts of Europe, particularly in regions where Roman authority had collapsed in the wake of the Germanic invasions. Monasteries founded by Irish monks often became the focal points of Christian missionary activity in these areas, serving as bases from which the faith was spread to surrounding populations. At the same time, these monasteries became centers of learning, preserving and transmitting both Christian and classical knowledge during a period often referred to as the Dark Ages. One of the most famous of these wandering Irish monks was Marianus Scotus, also known as Muirdach Mac Robartaig. Born in Ireland around 1028, Marianus joined a monastic community in his youth, where he developed a reputation for his scholarly pursuits and deep piety. Like many Irish monks before him, Marianus felt called to leave his homeland and embark on a journey across Europe in search of both spiritual and intellectual fulfillment. His travels eventually brought him to Germany, where he founded a monastery in the city of Regensburg in 1076. Regensburg was a significant center of commerce and politics in the Holy Roman Empire, and Marianus's decision to establish a monastery there reflects the strategic importance of the location. The monastery he founded, which came to be known as Schottenkloster, the Scots Monastery, quickly became a center of learning and scholarship attracting monks from Ireland and other parts of Europe who were drawn to its reputation for intellectual rigor and spiritual devotion.
Mariana Scotus's work at Schottenkloster was part of a broader tradition of Irish monastic scholarship, which emphasized the preservation and transmission of ancient texts. Like many Irish monasteries, Schottenkloster became a repository for classical works, and its monks were involved in the laborious process of copying and preserving manuscripts. These manuscripts included not only Christian theological works, but also classical texts from Greek and Roman antiquity, which would have been lost to history without the efforts of these monastic scribes. The founding of Schottenkloster in 1076 marked the beginning of a new chapter in the history of Irish monasticism in Europe. The monastery became a vital center of learning and culture in medieval Germany, and its influence extended far beyond the confines of Regensburg. Over the centuries, Schottenkloster became part of a network of Irish monasteries across the continent, all of which shared a commitment to the preservation of knowledge and the promotion of intellectual life. The monks of Schottenkloster, like their counterparts in Ireland and elsewhere in Europe, were deeply engaged in the study of theology, philosophy, and classical literature. They were particularly noted for their expertise in the Latin language, which was the lingua franca of intellectual life in medieval Europe. The mastery of Latin enabled these monks to engage with the works of the Church Fathers, as well as the philosophical and scientific writings of ancient Greece and Rome. One of the most important contributions of Schottenkloster was its role in the preservation of ancient texts. During the medieval period, the transmission of knowledge depended heavily on the labor of monks who painstakingly copied manuscripts by hand. In many cases, Irish monasteries like Schottenkloster were responsible for preserving works that would have otherwise been lost to history. This included not only Christian theological works, such as the writings of Augustine and Gregory the Great, but also classical texts from antiquity, including the works of Virgil, Cicero, and Aristotle. Schottenkloster also played a key role in the spread of Irish intellectual traditions across Europe. The Irish monastic tradition emphasized the importance of study and learning as a form of spiritual devotion, and this emphasis on scholarship became a hallmark of the monasteries founded by Irish monks on the continent. At Schottenkloster, as in other Irish monasteries, the study of scripture and theology was seen as an integral part of the monastic life, and this scholarly tradition helped to shape the intellectual culture of medieval Europe. The contributions of Irish monks like Marianus Scotus were not limited to the monasteries they founded. The intellectual influence of Irish monasticism extended across Europe, shaping the development of medieval scholasticism and contributing to the revival of classical learning that would eventually culminate in the Renaissance. One of the most important aspects of the Irish monastic tradition was its emphasis on the study of Latin. Irish monks were renowned for their mastery of the Latin language, and they played a key role in the preservation and transmission of Latin texts during the early medieval period. The Irish monastic schools, both in Ireland and on the continent, became centers of Latin learning, and the expertise of Irish monks in Latin grammar and rhetoric made them highly sought after as teachers and scholars. In addition to their contributions to the preservation of Latin texts, Irish monks also played a key role in the development of medieval theology. The Irish monastic tradition was deeply influenced by the works of the Church Fathers, particularly Augustine of Hippo, and Irish theologians made important contributions to the development of Christian thought during the medieval period. The Irish emphasis on rigorous intellectual inquiry and theological debate helped to shape the intellectual culture of medieval Europe and Irish theologians were often at the forefront of debates on issues such as predestination, free will, and the nature of the Trinity. Irish monks were also instrumental in the development of medieval philosophy, 
particularly in the field of logic. The study of logic was an important part of the Irish monastic curriculum, and Irish monks made significant contributions to the development of logical theory during the early medieval period. Their work in this area laid the groundwork for the later development of scholastic philosophy, which would become the dominant intellectual tradition in medieval Europe. The influence of Irish monasticism began to wane in the later medieval period, as the political and cultural landscape of Europe changed. The rise of universities in the 12th and 13th centuries shifted the centre of intellectual life away from the monasteries, and the Irish monastic tradition gradually declined in importance. However, the legacy of Irish monks like Marianus Scotus continued to be felt long after their monasteries had ceased to be major centres of learning. The contributions of Irish monks to the preservation of classical texts and the development of medieval theology and philosophy were crucial to the intellectual life of medieval Europe. Without the efforts of these wandering scholars, many of the works of antiquity that formed the foundation of medieval and Renaissance thought would have been lost. The monasteries founded by Irish monks, including Schottenkloster, played a vital role in the transmission of knowledge across the centuries ensuring that the intellectual achievements of the ancient world were not forgotten. Marianus Scotus and his fellow Irish monks were part of a broader tradition of intellectual and cultural exchange that helped to shape the course of European history. Their monasteries were not just places of religious devotion, but also centers of learning and scholarship, where the knowledge of the past was preserved and passed on to future generations. The legacy of Marianus Scotus and the Schottenkloster is a testament to the enduring importance of Irish monasticism in the intellectual life of medieval Europe. The work of Irish monks in the 9th and 10th centuries, including figures like Marianus Scotus, had a profound impact on the cultural and intellectual development of medieval Europe. Through their establishment of monasteries across the continent, Irish monks created centers of learning and scholarship that played a key role in preserving the knowledge of antiquity and shaping the intellectual life of the medieval world. The Schottenkloster in Regensburg, founded by Marianus Scotus in 1076, is a prime example of the important contributions made by these Irish monks. As a center of learning, Schottenkloster helped to preserve ancient texts and spread Irish intellectual traditions across Europe. The broader legacy of Irish monasticism, with its emphasis on scholarly pursuit and the transmission of knowledge, continued to influence European intellectual life long after the decline of the monastic tradition itself. In the end, the contributions of Irish monks like Marianus Scotus were instrumental in shaping the intellectual landscape of medieval Europe. Their monasteries served as beacons of learning and culture during a period often characterized by chaos and upheaval, and their dedication to the preservation and transmission of knowledge ensured that the intellectual achievements of the past would continue to inspire future generations. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video on the legacy of Irish monks in Europe, Marianus Scotus and the Schottenkloster here on our YouTube channel, Emerald Chronicle. We truly appreciate your interest and support. Your engagement helps us share the rich history and vibrant culture that shape our understanding of Ireland. If you enjoyed this short film, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing for more insightful videos. We love hearing your thoughts, so feel free to leave comments below. Together, let's continue exploring the fascinating stories that make up our heritage. Thank you once again, and we look forward to bringing you more exciting content in the future. Until we meet again, as we say here in Ireland, Slawn go foil, goodbye for now.